fiddlehead fiddle lesson gonna be a lot of fun today the tune peacock rag which i was made into a little song for you just there um it's an intermediate tune i'm gonna play the whole thing in a mid tempo and then show it to you in a step-by-step -step way it's a very cool fun tune by an american fiddler named arthur smith here it goes And so on. So, um, before doing this tune, you should be familiar with the D scale and be pretty good with raised third and or low fourth. So you need it for this tune. Also low two, regular two versus low two. You need both for this tune. All right. So, I'm just going to jump right in. I'm going to actually start the tune on the pickup, which I normally don't do, the pickup being one, two, three, four, one, um, two, because I think it's, to me, it feels like such a part of the melody. So, start second finger on D, and it, if we were to count it, it'd be one, two, three. and so I'm going to go two, three, raise third. And so, if you're unfamiliar with this raised third and low fourth, I have videos for that, which I'll um, post links to in the comments below. Also, fingerings for this tune, Peacock Rag, are in the comments as well. Not to be confusing, but you could use your pinky there, or low fourth there instead. Either one works. I think I'm just going to be consistent and stick with um, the raised third, just for consistency. Um, uh, consistency? Consistence? What's the right word? Um, that piece alone, if you can do that well, will help you a lot in this tune. So let's cycle it. Okay, after that, we're going to go to first on E. And then that's going to hold a little longer than those notes. It's actually like a dotted quarter note. Without getting into theory, I'll just play it and it'll make a little sense. Um, that again. So I added three on E, one on E, three on A, open A. Very good. So I'm now going to cycle this phrase and I think if you get this down the tune will sort of unfold nicely. So I'm going to count in four plus one. So one, two, three, four, one. Again.
Good. And that's followed by, starting three on the A. The, this kind of thing is called chromatic playing. It's three, two, low, two, one. It's chromatic. So let's cycle that. And the opening thing is also a chromatic, a chromatic passage, I guess you'd say. And what that means is that it dips into the chromatic scale, which I also have a video for. Um, the chromatic scale is basically every half step in West Western harmony. And so when, when music kind of plays, does even for a little bit the chromatic scale, it's sometimes called chromatic passage or chromaticism. That's about all the theory I know. Um, okay, so. And to that, we're gonna add low two on E. Here's that again. on the, basically like the second quarter and then we're gonna go so I added four on E to low two to four and then I'm gonna add first on A listen to it put together First quarter roughly is Alright, and that's followed by Let's put them together. Count in four plus one. One, two, three, four, one. Third quarter begins with second on A, and we're going to do a little rhythm where we go between second and low second. It'll be a tricky little rhythm. I'm just going to play the whole thing. Here it is again. Let's cycle it. followed by one on E, adding to that. Let's break that down. And then on A, three, back to E, and then two. Third quarter sounds like there is again. Fourth quarter. Now the tricky thing about this is that when we play the A part, we end it differently each time. So the first ending of the A part is going to be this. And we go back into the tune. Second ending 
I'll go over them in more detail in a minute. Second ending simpler, it's going to go. And it's going to lead to the B part. So the first ending, hopefully this is not confusing, but the first time we play the A part, we end with. And then we start with the pickups again, which I already showed you. So let's break that down, starting three on A, three one open. And then on D string, we're going to do three, three, two, open. Putting that together. Jolly little riff there. And then after that, we go right back into the pickups. again, going to the second ending. So I'm going to do the whole second half of the A part going to the first ending. So we're going to go and starting over. All right. So now the second ending goes like this. It starts third on A. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to play the entire A part with the first ending and then the entire A part with the second ending. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one. second time through the tune and then the second ending is going to go start on third on A. Those are long notes. One, two, three, four, one. And then we're going to do the pickups to the B part. So the whole second time through the uh, A part would sound like this. So now I'm just going to go right to the B part. I'm just going to start fourth finger on the E. That's going to be two half notes. Followed by two half notes first on E. Here we go. Three, four. And now I'm going to add the pickups to that because it'll help when we put, go to put it together later. So the pickups were... And then we're going to add the rest of it. Two, three, four. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four, go! Next part starts second on E. So that's two to four to two to one to open E. Good. So the whole first half of the B part. Okay, and then the second half with a little pickup is 
Well, it says we're starting the third quarter, let's say. So open A to two on, open A to two. And that two is the downbeat. And then up to three on E. And then after that we add this, four to three, back and forth. So listen. Here's that again. I'm going to add more. I'm going to add first on E. And that's basically, I think that's basically how the A part ends. So um, let's do all that again. Third quarter. And then back into it. And so the interesting thing that'll make sense the more you play it is that the uh, first ending of the B part is actually the second ending of the A part. And it's very logical because this ending will always lead to a B part. So not that well explained, but I think if you play it, it'll make sense. So I'm now going to do the whole first time through the B part. And so on. The second time through the B part, instead of going to we're going to do this, basically the first ending of the A part. All right, so I'm now going to play the second time through the B part and going into the A part a little bit and repeating. Hopefully with all that, you can put it together and figure out the road map of the tune. So the challenging things are, I think, in this tune, the road map, but it's very logical once you get it, and then some of the fingerings, the three to raise third, two down to low two. Um, I'm now going to play the entire thing, two A's, two B's, with the different endings, with the set same slow tempo, and if you're unsure of it, just listen to it a few times. Always, that's a really a golden rule. If you're unsure, just listen to what's going on. Okay. I'm going to count in four plus one. One, two, three, four, go!
And by the way, the first time I played the B part, you may have noticed I played one long note. Two, three. Instead of two half notes, I played one whole note. Didn't mean to do that. But it's not really wrong, just so you know. There's lots of ways to do these tunes. It's not an authoritative version, really. But um, Oh, hey, kitty. Um, but uh, I, I like to keep things consistent. So just so you know, like for this lesson, let's do on that first B part. Two, three, four. Anyway, cool. Well, thanks for watching. Hope it was fun. Let me know how it goes. See you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. Excellent.